Hi guys, welcome back, and we are pressing play straight away uh, for our for our glorious Netherlands campaign in Victoria 3. I can't speak. I was just thinking about that uh, immigration. So New South Wales has got a lot of immigrants from us. Ah. Australian Aboriginal Wallonian. Whoa, there we are. The boys. <laughs> The Australian boys! Let's go. I don't know why that's good. It's not good for us, but fine. Oh, what's this? Shortage of a glass. Hmm. Well, we'll uh, rectify that as well. We've got a lot of buildings queuing. Ready to go. Uh, Galway. Oh. We're queuing four tool places there, but there won't be people. I think they will migrate. I think it'll be fine. We're just lacking so many people. This is the problem with the Netherlands, guys. We get three extra glass factories there, I think. And we should be back up to uh, full-scale industry. Uh, is there many people migrating? I, multiculturalism has been going on for so long. No, not a huge amount. When I was America, I was getting, like multiple thousands into New York every week, which was brilliant. <laughs> new York, new workforce ready to go. Um, and we did enact multiculturalism really early in America, which is, was quite interesting. Population is growing quite significantly. 6.1 million now. Our GDP has just taken an absolute huge uptick. Fantastic. We're now 15th in the world. Um... We've gone up a little bit on standard of living. We need to get that higher, though. And it, multiculturalism will help with that. Definitely, because some of these people that have a low standard of living, I believe, say we go to someone who's discriminated against. Let's find, say, these farmers here. Uh, the middling standard of living. Why is that, though? Does it not tell us? Uh, it doesn't tell us, yeah, it doesn't tell us that they are, hmm, some of them are impoverished. Yeah, the ones that are actually working on our farms are pretty good. Guys on the livestock ranches are impoverished, but it's going, it should be going up. It looked like it just went up then, but oh well, it's fine. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure it should help. And you see the US down here. France has really cooked us there, which is a bit annoying because I wanted to... Oh, Great Britain. So, R&G, bro. How how are they forcing them their, themselves to take this, this, uh, this land? By fighting the enemy. Uh, the other side of the fence. People have been complaining about the difference in living standards between us and our neighbors. Uh... Well, we'll make the uh, trade union slightly more happy. Stops them having a negative impact on us, which is great. Ah, glorious. Well, everything is looking okay at the minute. Can't say amazing, but I'll say okay. Everything's looking pretty okay. Bit annoying that Britain has a bit of the, the delta there. It's a bit annoying that they have here as well. But it's Britain. What do you expect? Oh, God damn it. They over here now as well. Oh... Can't keep just blocking us all the time, bro. We're not going to take that. They're going to beat us. Uh, 50, 56 more weeks. We're, we're close to getting to this level, though. How many more weeks for that? I don't know. Maybe four to six. No, six more weeks, it looks like. Because I think it was 101 weeks uh, before... And acting the second level. So that's fine. Oh, God damn, Denmark as well here. <laughs> Go away, Denmark. Leave us alone. How are we doing down here? I'm still colonizing. Okay. Would quite like to puppet Chile. Anyone big that would come in. Britain has an interest over here. So. I mean, I could would like to puppet Argentina. The problem with this is we don't have land bordering them and naval invasions are so RNG. Especially against good troops. Like, the Argentinians will have decent enough troops. 
So potentially not yet. Once we've colonized a little bit more, I'll say yes, we will do it. But for now, probably not. Um, it's just annoying that Britain has taken over here. This is our land, bro. Stop getting little scraggles. Stop getting little scraggles, bro. It's my land. <laughs> God damn it. We're doing a lot of building, which is fantastic. Journal-wise, path to liberalism. We need universal sub uh, suffrage and legitimacy over 50. Ooh, what's this? France wants to... Oh. So now France get it. Why didn't we get it? God damn it, bro. So now France get to annex Mossy for free. Which is a bit annoying, but oh well. Uh, building wise. Yeah, we're still building those coffee plantations. Let's have a look in these areas. How is our population doing? Yeah, 49k peasants. We've been building around here slightly as well. No peasants. Ooh. Do we have any buildings that don't have people in them? Yes, we do. Are we building anything else there in Dahomey? Yeah, we are building another port. That's fine. That'll add to the market access. So, Ghana, how are we looking? I don't think... I think everywhere is fully done there. That's fine. Over here. Yeah, that's fine. Benin, Oyo. Yeah. That's fine. We're, we, we're good. We're good. Problem is we have to build two. Okay, Span Spain has this area as well. And Portugal has their Sao Tome and the Princey. Ah, uh, well. Now we're just going to have to keep expanding our influence over this way, I think. Problem is, if Britain block off the coastline, we can't keep colonizing inland. That's the main issue. And we can't colonize from our own uh, puppet. We can only colonize from direct land adjacent or sea. So, we really do need to start looking at down here as well. Which we can't take. What happens if I... Yeah, it's 10,000 days, guys. That's not quite where we want it. The one good thing is that they're not going to try and colonize that, probably. Britain, go and colonize somewhere else, bro. Go and take New Zealand. Go and take New Zealand. We're taking Sulawesi, which is good. That's all right. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. So let's let it run for a little bit. Uh, okay, Russia and Prussia are at war. So, Prussia versus Russia and Frankfurt. They wanted to annex Frankfurt. God, Prussia is not having the greatest of games. Look at that. That is a complete mess <laughs> right there. We've got new ships. Low market access. We are building things that are going to help that. Expensive government goods. Paper, we've got that. Art artillery is expensive. Trade routes need convoys. We should probably build up our shipyards a little bit then. And there's not many places we can build these. Friesland, do you have people? Um, by the time we build those, I'm not sure we'll have enough people to uh, man them, but we shall see. It's not a big problem. Our population is so low. That's why we needed this land down here. Radicals seem to be going down slightly, which is good for once. Uh, yeah, pretty much all Dutch. Yeah, pretty much all Dutch and Protestant. So by accepting the uh, multicultural, I'm not going to help a huge amount in here. Shortage of glass, we already talked about that. Uh, yeah, steel mills don't have the people right yet. Let's have a look. See whether they uh, start going up or not. Nope. Do we have the peasants? Yeah, we've only got 10k peasants and we are still building in here. Four more tooling workshops. 
I think migration will bring the people in, though. But... I can't be certain. They might be going somewhere else to fill up the uh, employment somewhere else. Uh, crystal glass, that's good. We will, uh, we will do that. Free Thinking Democratic League. Oh, that sounds good. In Industrialist Intelligentsia. That's who we want. Multiculture is not done yet, though. Uh, any more institutions we want? Does that completely stop when our... When our bureaucracy went negative? I think it did. The intelligentsia under the leadership of Erwin Brokhoff have ushered in an era of liberal politics that promises a freer society where all citizens have a... Yes. Yes, I do like that. Liberal trailblazer. Yes, please. Yes, please. That's what we want. That's what we want. Um... What were we looking at then? I'm not exactly sure. Oh, we were going to go to our glassworks and make it into leaded glass. We don't have lead. That's the problem. So we can't. No lead mines for us. <laughs> hmm. Now let's have a look down here. God damn, Britain. I hate you. God damn, I hate you. What a mess you have made down here. Would have been a lovely brown all the way, or whatever, orange we are, all the way through. And you get your horrible red in the way. God damn Britain. I think the colonization is a bit weird, like I think there needs to be more options with it. You just basically just press on a place and it does it. It's just fine, but not the most intuitive system, is it? Rifling is unlocked. Uh, yes. Fantastic. Let's have a look at our uh, buildings then. Uh, go to our arms manufactories and let's build rifles. More tools and more steel. Do we have any steel mills? We do. I think we go for the best of a process because we're going to need it. Mm. Less laborers. Yeah, let's do that because... Okay, yeah. They've instantly gone up to making 64. That's quite quite a significant amount. Uh, right then. Let us... We could go for breech loading artillery. Electric telegraph. No. Hmm. Chemical bleaching. Nitrogen fixation. Um, I'm not too sure. We could go for socialism. Uh, graduated taxation, communist party, political agitation. Uh, I think human rights would be good. Oh no, let's go for that. Let's get rid of uh, our bureaucracy uh, problems. That'll definitely be helpful. Modernizing the arsenal. Fantastic. Yep. Modernize that arsenal for us, boys. Fantastic. Yes! We finally got it. So now the rural folk intelligentsia are should be happy with us. Rural folk are happy. Landowners. Trade unions are unhappy. Petty bourgeois are pretty unhappy. Armed forces are neutral. Intelligentsia are very happy, which... Really helps with our migration. So let's have a look now. It says four, but surely it's going to be more in a week or so. Are you sure? Yeah, it's, it should go up. It should start ticking up. I should also hopefully reduce radicals, but I'm not sure. Did we start incorporating this state. We did. 17 more years. Do want to incorporate over here as well and then eventually all these states. So the people in here should no longer be being um, discriminated against. 
But we did lose authority for that. So, could get rid of a consumption tax. It's making 1.23. I think we get rid of it. Yeah. Still minus 40 authority. I think we'll get rid of the uh, greener grass campaign. In Friesland? Yeah, give us that positive authority. Cool. Now, let's have a look at some laws. What do we want? And, and, and our government. We have 60% legitimacy, which is actually quite good. The landowners are up here as well. So everyone here is happy. We need to make the trade unions, the armed forces, and the petty bourgeois happy somehow. <laughs> um, yeah. We're number eight. Great power. Hmm. Cool. I don't know how that... You press that then, I guess. Cool. No, we don't want that. Could go for free trade. Lots of people oppose it. Ideally, laissez-faire as well, though. Who supports that? Not many people. I think we're fine with interventionism. I would like to remove the monarchy at some point. Uh, yeah, I do really want to... <sighs> Presidential Republic. Rights of Assembly, we're good with those. Serfdom, we're good with that. Child labor allowed, we can't change. I would like this at some point. But right now the landowners are happy. And I don't want to make them more unhappy. I mean, we'll make the trade unions happy, but that's fine. Poor laws, who likes that? So we can make the trade unions happy and the landowners unhappy. And the industrialists more happy. That sounds like a decent option right now. What about private health? What does uh, making the uh, making the industrialists really happy do? Ten percent capitalist investment pool. Uh, I mean, the investment pool is just being spent, right? Yeah, on construction. It'll help with our construction, though. And it's a law that no one is really upset by. So that's a safe option we could go for. Public schools we want. We want that. We want that. We want all that. Guaranteed liberties. Armed forces would be fuming. So would the petty bourgeois. Intelligentsia would be buzzing. Uh, yeah, I think professional army is the right way to go. Elected bureaucrats is definitely something we want. What about total separation? The evangelical church are marginalized now. <laughs> We've destroyed them so much. What does this do, though? Yeah, total. What's the difference between this and this, though? That gives more authority. So, I think we'll wait. I could go for universal suffrage. Yeah, that would really, really help people. 20 legitimacy. I think that would reduce the radicals by quite a bit. It's going to make the landowners slightly unhappy. But I'm sure we'll get an event that can help that along. But let's try. 16% chance. 16% chance. Look at Britain go, bro. It's so annoying. Large numbers of Afro-American people. Yes. Come on. Come to Holland, all you marginalized people in the world. Come to Holland. Multiculturalism, boys. Let's go. Yes, we want your people. We just want workers for the capitalist system. <laughs> you, you get more rights than everywhere else, but you still remain in wage slavery, guys. So <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it might not be the uh, the haven you imagined, but... 
It's better than your last place anyway, so let's put it that way. Whoa! Baby! Let's go! I told you it works. Oh my god. What's the migration saying here? 53,000, 45,000, 365,000. Oh, baby. How's it? What about these places? Because I know they're not... Yeah. I know they're not incorporated, but they've still got our laws. No migration here, but is there even a port yet? Should be high. Yeah. 12k coming here as well. <laughs> Let's get on that migration map mode. Should make everyone else look stupid. Yeah, 6,000. 6,000 a week. Extensive migration from people of Afro-American culture. Cool. That's awesome. Come and work for us. Come and work in our factories. Because we needed people here anyway, didn't we? So we look at uh, Holland. We now have a lot more peasants because of the migration. But we needed people to fill out a lot of our buildings. Like our steel mines, etc. Is anywhere not got enough people yet? No, everywhere is full now. How about Galray? So we've just got to make sure that we continue building in these places then. Ah, oh, that was perfect timing because we were about to run out as well. So we're getting some loyalists. Right, who got voted in? We got good legitimacy. I'm happy with that. 29% for universal suffrage. Come on, the boys. Let's go. A liberal haven. What does the industrialist happiness make us? 20% capitalist pool. And then this one, minus 20% production cost, uh, technology cost. That one's society, and that's 100% migration attraction. Trade unions plus 10% manufacturing industries throughput. It's quite good. Got a bit of a bureaucratic shortfall again. Um... Let's start building some administrations around the world. Getting one. Let's build one in Dahomey. Got one there. Dutch Guinea, potentially not. Don't think they have access to the market there, so it's not going to be too good. What about, yeah, Dutch Guyana, we want one as well. Let's do that. Let's add them into the queue. I think... We'll stick them up to the top. Get them done. We'll have to uh, keep an eye on that migration. See how many people we have. Oh, it's glorious, isn't it? It's glorious. A lot of people are becoming peasants, though, which is a bit unfortunate. So we're going to have to instantly 5% of the population there. Fantastic. They're still cut. They're still Protestant. Mostly laborers. But yeah, we're going to have to uh, somehow find jobs for all these people now. <laughs> but we were getting down to pretty much the dregs before, weren't we? So I'm glad. As in, no peasants left. So I'm glad we've got a lot more people. Sorb people. Serbian people. Oh. So a lot of Serbians are going to Friesland now, it's saying. Have a look. It's just started lagging a little bit. One sec. If I just do that for a second, it should go back to being fine. I think it's the zooming in. Zooming in so quickly. If you have a look at Friesland. Yeah, huge migration again. They're not quite in the, uh, in the culture chart yet. Uh... Oh, I think I got it then. Saw people. Next door. Yeah. 5k of them already. Nice. Migration target for the saw people. May be created for every zero turmoil in a culture. Surrounding states may also see some degree of immigration from a migration target. 
I was hoping that would have an impact on our uh, radicals, but no. But our uh, standard of living seems to be increasing, so we need to keep increasing it just to reduce those uh, radical tensions, etc. Yeah, whatever. How is our uh, large numbers of Kikuyu? Okay, Bantu people from East Africa. Probably the French area. They're coming as well. Fantastic. Everyone, come and join us in our liberal haven. You'll not be discriminated against here. You will be forced to work in horrible manufactories, though. But <laughs> it's a job, and you're not getting discriminated against. So seems like a win-win, right? <laughs> God damn Britain. You just fuck off. You keep blocking our colony, co colonial efforts. I hate you. Britain, I hate you. Okay, apparently we've got high tensions with these people. And Mapuche, please? Yes. Please. Break out into war. Please, please, please. And then we can just take this, this land without having to colonize it. Please. Let it be. Let it happen. Uh, uh, South Cameroon, Cameroon is in turmoil. Because people are struggling. Dahomey is in turmoil because of radicals. Dutch Togo is in turmoil. Uh, why? Radical pops. Radical population. Go away, Radical Pups. We don't want no Radicals here anymore. Nobody here anymore. Hopefully that's making the institution happen. Yes! Now our colony should be growing that bit quicker. Let's have a look. I mean, yeah, slightly. How about down here? Not that it will matter too much because I'm thinking... So if we go, say, here and here, yeah. What does here count as? Ah, oh, yeah, we'll cancel that. We will get that soon, though. And then Papua, I think, is the same. Colonizing quite well down in Sulawesi, so that's good. Yeah, we should take over the whole of Sulawesi, and then we can give it to the Dutch East Indies. Okay, to outside observers, the... In oh, it just automatically took... Uh, the Intelligentsia are still happy, though. That's fine. They're also quite powerful. Same as the industrialists. Yes, Albanians! Come on, the Albanians. I want Skanderberg. Bring me Skanderberg! Our population has just skyrocketed. You see the power of uh, multiculturalism, guys. <laughs> see its power. 607,000 migration. Where's our urban centers? Size 8. Needs to be size 10. 3 here. And then what about gallery? 4. Well, we need to start building um, for all these new immigrants coming. 31,000 peasants. 85,000 now. So let's have a look at our market. We've not looked at the market for a little while. Services are still a big issue. Grain is actually an issue. Let's have a look at what we can build. Wheat farms. That's over here. I, I don't want to build over there, bro. I'm not, I'm sorry. Um, what about rye farms? What do they make? They do make grain. So, Holland. I guess we'll turn that to 10. What else do we need? Furniture still, really? I don't get the furniture. We're just constantly building furniture factories. We'll go another four there. Uh, there was also paper, wasn't there, somewhere that we wanted to build? Build Friesland. Eight. Market. Grain. Clothes still, really? Um, let's 
build another five in Holland. We should really build some cotton plantations, most likely. We should probably build them in the Dutch Niger Delta. Start urbanizing this area a little bit. And then once that institution is done, so once we've got up to here, oh, we can also go for that. 30% education access, 37.5 assimilation. Oh, I kind of want this, though, more. Hmm. Yeah, lots of less radicalism from this. Cool. I think we do that. Once, uh, yeah, once we, uh, once we've done these, we will look at incorporating more states. It'll make our authority go negative for a little bit. One home affairs institution investment, which we can't do because we need 34 bureaucracy. Is that even going down? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that would really help. I think we need to build more bureaucracy, honestly. We're building some shipyards right now. Oh, no, we're not. That's, uh... Oh, we've got a lot of things... We've got a lot of things, uh, queued up. I think the government administration's quite important, though. Have we got one there? No. Build one there. Also building Dutch Guinea. We've got one here. We got one here? No, it's got a lot of people, so we might as well build that. But Britain have just split us there. That's really annoying. We're making a huge ton of money right now. Investment pool transfer as well. Let's have a look at our assets then. Whoa! Our investment pool is huge! Why has that suddenly gone up so much? Oh, well, that's pretty good. Let's have a look at our thing then. We're making so much money. Put that back up. I mean, the intelligentsia are happy enough with us. We could put this down. I'm going to try that for a little bit. And let's watch our standard of living increase dramatically. Hopefully. And hopefully the radicals should go down. Come on, surely standard of living is going to increase with lower taxes. Mm. Baking powder is unlocked. Cool. Let's go through a few of our buildings. We've not gone through them for a little while. So baking powder takes more grain and sugar. I think we'll leave it for now. Textile mills, yeah, we're doing what we can there. Can go up to precision tools here, but I don't think it's worth it. Mechanized workshops, yeah. Crystal glass or leaded glass? I mean, I'd like to do crystal glass. However, we don't have any lead. Steel tools, we're definitely making those. And let's make some water tube boilers. Paper mills. Sulfite pumping. I don't think so. Shipyards. Reinforced ships? I think so. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that ratio. Yeah, I'm happy with the just military shipbuilding rather than extensive. Are we going to go into smoothbores yet? Takes more steel, which... Let's have a look. Do we have steel? Uh... Where is the steel? There it is. We've got a little bit of a deficit of steel, but not too much. Uh, are we building any steel? more steel mills? I think we are in here somewhere. Are we not? Well, we need to put these at the top. Uh, I don't think... Uh, we probably aren't, to be honest. Everyone's on skirmish. Also mobile. I think we don't need to mess with that just yet. Um, any more colonies we can build that are going to be useful. 
Uh, no, it doesn't look like it right now. But we'll be fine. Hopefully these Mapuche people get very angry with us. So we can just take that land. Says they're at high tensions. Yeah. If this tension continues, it might spark a native uprising. Good, good, good. Then we can take it for free. Uh, explosives, lead, and engines are a shortage. Ah, one thing we haven't done yet is a motor industries. Which we could go for Friesland. Oh, Holland has a lot of peasants now. But 5, 10, so that's about 50,000. About 60,000 extra workers we'll need, so build two motor industries there. Also, do we have munitions plants? We do. In Dutch Volta. I don't even know where that is. Fine. <laughs> well, I guess universal suffrage is not going to happen. <sighs> That's a bit annoying. Let's have a look at... So it's a bit RNG with, with your laws. Sometimes you do one that's like 6% and then everyone loves it. And then sometimes you do one that's terrible. Uh, that's like really high percent and then terrible things happen and everyone hates it. So... I can make the petty bourgeois and landowners much more unhappy if we go parliamentary. But I think we're fine. Um, there's not really much else I want to do in here too much. Apart from change over that. And I think we'll leave it for now. Yeah, I don't want free trade. Agrarianism? No. Everyone kind of hates laissez-faire. So what about command economy? Hmm. Subsidies are mandated. Probably not. We could go back for the private health insurance. That is the easy one. So let's do that. Make our people die a little bit less. Would be good. France and Britain are at war. Great. Fight each other. While they're at war then. Let's think what we want to grab. Probably Wadai as a puppet. Yeah, I kind of do. What sort of... Yeah, you're not the richest in the world, are you? Not the richest, but... It's extra land, isn't it? Extra land. Or we could conquer the Congo as a state in itself and then be able to start colonizing back here. I'd quite like to be able to do that. Face the Congo, Britain, Portugal, Spain, and Egypt are the potential problems. Don't think any of the smaller nations will join. We do have to do a naval invasion, though. That's slightly annoying, but... Stand by, my friend. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look. As long as Portugal and Spain don't join... We're fine. We are hunky-dory. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'll leave you on the suspense of that event. Uh, <laughs> and hopefully we will take the land of the Congo there. So that's going to increase our radicals quite a bit. But as you can see, our radicals just took a huge chunk downwards, which is fantastic. Um, really good. Our population is skyrocketing. Mainly because of immigration right now, because we're multicultural, which is fantastic. I knew that was going to happen. We do need to uh, make sure that we keep on going upwards with our GDP and our population. That's why we're going to take this land in the Congo. Let's have a look at some of our land over here now. That Look, Albanians, Afro-Americans, Dutch people all living together in peace in the 1850s. Oh god, we're already 1857. Wow. Oh, go on, go on, Britain. 
You naughty boy. You naughty, naughty boy. Albanians and Serbs down here as well, living together in peace. And Kikuyus from East Africa. All the marginalized people of the world will find a home in our empire. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you again on the next video.